Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at the confusing matrix. And this is a table to visualize the model predictions, the predicted versus the ground truth labels, the actual, also known as an error matrix. And they are useful for classification problems to determine if our um, if our classification is working as we think it is. So imagine we have a question: How many bananas uh, did this person eat, or these people eat? And so we have this kind of uh, box here where we have predicted versus actual, and it's really comparing the ground truth and what the model predicted, right? And so on the exam, they'll ask you questions like, okay, well imagine that, uh, and they might not even say yes or no, maybe like zero and one. And so what they're saying is, you know, imagine you have you want to tell us the true positives, right? And so the idea is they won't show you the labels here, but you know, one and one would be a true positive and zero and zero would be a false negative. Okay, another thing they'll ask you about these uh, confusion matrices is uh, the size of them. So the idea is that we're looking right now at a, um, oops, <laughs> just gonna erase that there, but we're looking at a binary classifier because we have one label and uh, 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 just two labels, right? One and two, okay? But you could have three, say one, two, and three. So how would you calculate that? Well, there'd just be a third cell over here, uh, you know, and it's just gonna be actual and predicted because we're only gonna have ground truth versus prediction. And so that's how you'll know it will be six. The size will be six, might not say cells, but it'll just say six, okay?